We used to think the ocean was an inexhaustible resource. Now we know it's vulnerable. But I look out at the ocean and it's like a closed door. It's hard to know what's there unless you go down into it. I spent nearly 20 years working in the sea underwater filming, trying to show people. It reminds me of staring into rock pools as a kid. This little world full of anemones, urchins, crabs. That's how I first fell in love with the sea. I've experienced the excitement of great things, you know, of, of seeing great things done, of seeing great performances of individuals, of seeing great pieces of journalism, inspirational political leadership or inspirational leadership that's not necessarily political. Wonderful changes in science and medicine and being able to experience life in that kind of breadth just heightens the pathos of seeing people who are never going to have those opportunities for whom an excitement might be something more than rice for their one meal of the day. I can help make a whole city and people can enter it, go wherever they like, meet all these characters, have different things happen to them depending on how they play the game. And because of the way they play, they probably won't ever know all the characters and experiences possible in that city. <laughs> Sometimes I feel sorry for the characters that I meet. music when I'm 25, but I know I'll always have a guitar in my room, in my house. Right now, I just want people to see this is a part of me. You might not want that big western style front door where you come in off the street, bang, just like that. One size fits all. You want to think about who's going to use it. The story of the building. Natalia moved swiftly down the hallway, the silencer on her silver beretta swishing gently against her tight leather skirt. Hmm, oh, tight leather skirt, a bit too dominatrix perhaps? Oh, blow it, what's wrong with dominatrix? Slugman lunged towards her, wrapping his fibre wire around her sensual neck. Time to show him who's boss, right? Deftly, she swept her tightly laced boot under the unsuspecting killer, and before he knew it, he was flat on his back, looking down the barrel of Papa Beretta. What do you reckon, Natalia? Am I in the sack for old time's sake, or should we just finish him off here? It's so hard to know what one should write on one's gravestone. At the moment, I'm toying with... Are we there yet? At 65, I'm not as fit as I used to be, but I lost 10 kilos in the first 12 months. There were some bad rains a while back. It went on for three weeks. I'm retired, my time's on my own, but a lot of volunteers in the SES still have jobs. They took their annual leave. The highlight was evacuating a nursing home on the bend of a river which had broken its banks. There we were, going up the street by these used car lots in our flood boat full of people. And they were mostly dementia patients who had no idea what was going on. I remember one fella on a stretcher looks up to me and says, has it been raining? I said, yeah, mate, just a little. The thrill of the chase is one thing, of going out there and having that holy grail piece, that one that you don't have, and looking everywhere. And it's always that you walk past a garage and think, well, it might be there. The baby popped out looking just like Dad, just like they always do. Mum passed her to him. Skin on skin does amazing things. I've seen it regulate a baby's faltering heartbeat. This time it was his face, the dad's, lit from within. Can we do it again, he said. And you know, he was only half joking. Where do they come from, eh? These strange, slithery things, breaking from where their mothers laid them in the warm, dark sand. What's ahead of them? What trials and dangers. What a remarkable place to be filled with such things. Music is storytelling. 
It's, it's a story that I'm telling an audience or even one person. You can entertain the audience by taking them on a different journey each time, playing it differently. The conductor really is a showman, so I have to impart my personality on that piece, that famous piece of music. It's like flying, you know, your feet never touch the ground. <laughs> 